The WBC has extended the negotiation period for the Deontay Wilder Tyson Fury rematch because both parties requested more time to finalize the deal. So they have postponed the purse bid. Now, I'm going to assume that if only one of these parties had asked for more time to negotiate, it wouldn't have been granted and that a purse bid would have, would have gone ahead. But because it was both of them, the WBC thought, you know what, let's give them more time because we want to make sure that there's a fight at the end of the day. Some people are saying that this uh, move by the WBC is a situation where they basically want to find out what Anthony Joshua is doing so they can, I don't know, maybe have Wilder Fury 2 on the same date or near the same date as Anthony Joshua's next fight. Some people have put this forward as a theory. I'm not saying I subscribe to that theory. I'm just telling you what people are saying online. Um, I tend to suspect that it's probably just, uh, you know, a situation where they're giving both sides more time because there's a hell of a lot of pressure on the fighters to agree a deal because you've got Showtime, you've got BT Sport, you've got Al Heyman, and you've got uh, Frank Warren. They don't want this fight to go to purse bids. They don't want one of, one of their rival promoters or rival networks getting hold of this fight. So there's incentive on both sides to make sure a deal is struck. But as I've said previously, there may be one of the fighters or perhaps both of the fighters who actually want a purse bid, who actually want to push it in that direction. Now, I suspect it's not Deontay Wilder because I don't think one Wilder is that smart to understand the advantage of a purse bid. And two, I get the feeling that Deontay Wilder doesn't have as much control over his career as Tyson Fury does over his. I think Fury is more independent. I think he has more control. Again, I could be wrong here, but this is my impression as an outsider looking in. I think Fury's got more control. And so if anybody could push for a purse bid, I reckon it's him. Whereas Wilder, I don't think he's that smart. And I don't think he has that much control. So we'll see what happens here. If they still can't come to an agreement in the next seven days, what are the WBC going to do? Is it a situation where they're waiting to see what Anthony Joshua does? If it is, you know, maybe we'll find out when they put the date for the fight forward for this rematch between Wilder and Fury. But if it isn't, then perhaps after the seven days, there won't be an agreement. You know, after this uh, negotiation period extension, there might not be an agreement. Maybe it will go to purse bids. Will one side or the other side pull out? I suspect they will. I would be absolutely amazed if this goes through to a purse bid uh, and then a third party wins the bid and puts it on a different network with a different promoter at the helm. I'll be amazed if that happens. Stranger things have happened in boxing. It's possible, but in all li likelihood, I can't see it. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below about this situation. Are you disappointed? I know a lot of people just from an entertainment standpoint, because they like the drama associated with it. Uh, a lot of people wanted to see this fight go to purse bids because they wanted to see Hearn win and they wanted to see Frank Warren have a red face and be all angry, <laughs> spitting venom in his next IFL interview. And that would be entertaining. But ultimately, what matters most is that the fight actually takes place. That's what matters most. Not seeing Frank Warren with a red face or, you know, people who want to see Al Heyman lose his grip 
and Showtime lose their grip or Fox or whoever it is, wherever they're looking to put this rematch on. For me, the most important thing is the fight actually taking place. And if the fight can't take place, then Deontay Wilder versus Anthony Joshua is what we want to see, right? The undisputed fight or Tyson Fury versus AJ if the undisputed fight can't happen. So let me know what you guys feel in the comment section below about everything I've talked about in this video and about the whole situation. What is your interpretation of it? It's Hammond, I'm out. Join me on Patreon. I upload a minimum of two podcasts every single week covering a wide variety of controversial topics as well as live stream Q&A sessions. Take a look on screen right now at some of the podcasts I've produced so far. For just $3 a month, the equivalent of about £2 a month, you get access to all my new podcasts and my entire back catalogue of past podcasts, including my popular Confessions of a Nightclub Bouncer series. You can listen on your computer or on your smartphone or tablet by downloading the Patreon app from the Google Play Store or the App Store for free. The Patreon app also allows you to download each podcast in MP3. For less than the price of a cup of coffee, you get access to dozens of hours of exclusive content. It's easy to sign up, there's no contract, and you can cancel at any time. So come and join our community of free and critical thinkers by signing up with me here on Patreon today.